Okay, I want to speak on people who like to judge and have so much to gripe about with people who happen to be receiving public aid of any kind. Okay, first I would like to say, what would you do if your nice cushiony job that you felt like you could never get fired from or lay off happened. It was unexpected. You had no idea. You have a family and this is what you've been living off of for as long as you can remember. Do you realize that at any moment your job could close your section, could lay you off? They could have a problem in the company wherein you all of a sudden have nothing. And let's say you didn't make enough to have saved and you were just taking care of your family. You didn't make a great income and all, but because it was just stripped away unnoticed, I mean, for, uh, without notice, all of a sudden you don't know where your next check is coming from because you lost it. Let's just say you could use your unemployment. Let's say that ran out and you couldn't find work and it was taking you a while to find work. What would you do? Mm, I guarantee you the food stamps that you talk about that you think is so much and so great you will go apply for housing help or let's say someone to help you play catch up or whatever you would go get it then all of a sudden you find yourself in a situation wherein you see how hard it is to find employment because there are not many jobs out here that some people are qualified or not qualified to do you know what I mean it's like you have to realize that you have to be very careful on what you see on the outside. Just like me, for someone who, you know, have people who, you know, work very hard for a living and, you know, they, I can't assume because they make a certain amount of money that they should have this or that or they shouldn't be struggling because they make this certain amount when I'm not in their household. I can't say, you know, where their dollar is going. I can't, you know, am I, because I receive assistance, am I supposed to all of a sudden not have certain things because of it? Am I supposed to not have, you know, clean clothes or, or nice clothes or my children not supposed to have because I receive assistance? You know, that automatically makes me, you know, put me in the category where this is your mentality this is what you're supposed to do you're supposed to look like you're struggling if you're struggling you're supposed to not have a car you're supposed to not have a car some what if you say mm, she on section eight and she driving a Benz. well what if it was willed to me how do you know how i got the car what if i had a great job and it allowed me to buy that car and then i lost my job and i still have the car you know what I mean? Like, you can't assume for, you know, what you see is what you see. You know what I mean? Like, again, I am a struggling artist, okay? I am a struggling photographer. I have three children. I have two children that have disability. So, if you haven't experience what that is like it is very unfair for you to assume that my life is plush and great because I take care of my children with disability and even it's not enough it's still not enough you know what I mean but people assume you know oh she get food stamps and her refrigerator full no do you understand I have me my three children, okay? I'm not ashamed to say, okay, I give 300 and some odd dollars in food stamps. Have you been to the grocery store? And I've moved, so I don't even live on the East Coast anymore. I live in the West Coast. I don't live in Watts. I live in Orange County, California, okay? A very nice neighborhood that people say I shouldn't live in because I get assistance. So I'm not allowed to live in a safe neighborhood because I get assistance. You know what I mean? Which is crazy because I, this is my life. 
You know what I mean? So, but I still want the things that people who, you know, work hard, quote unquote, every day want as well. I want nice things. I want to be able to get transportation to be able to provide for my family. I'm still trying. I'm still, I'm adequately now looking for work and been looking for work, even though I have kids who are sick all the time. I, you know, it's people, I've written a book, people haven't. You know, um, a lot of people who say that they support you and they understand they didn't buy it. I, you know, have art. They won't pay for it. I'm I'm doing, I'm having my own hustle here. You know what I mean? I'm trying to make it with the gifts that God has given me to take care of my children while I'm adequately looking for work. And I don't know if anyone knows the struggle with looking for work, but it's not like, oh, you fill in the application and they hire you. No, it's like the lottery you feel like i'm gonna fill this application out like i said i'm gonna pray check in see if they you know have have you gonna follow up you know what i mean and every day it's a i gotta look i gotta look i gotta look and let's be honest most jobs you get because you know somebody who knows somebody who knows somebody all I'm saying is don't judge a book by its cover. Don't assume that everybody who gets assistance are ghetto hood or want nothing more than to get money once a month. I don't get cash aid personally. But when I did, when my kids were younger, the most I ever got was 286 bucks. That was it. How did I make it? Only God knows because I don't. I don't know how much anybody else gets, but I wasn't like, oh, yeah, I'm good. I don't like having the government run my life. I don't like having them tell me I can't have company or this person or that person. Or I can't. It's so many rules and stipulations just to try to keep your food.